to Shinsu Field. You're not faster than me. <laughs> Oop, there we go. Now, let's start making pads. Keep on going until we find you and exit. Oh, did I make one? <laughs> didn't think I did it that time. Right. This is supposed to be a very beautiful forest, so let's see what awaits us. Bombing time! Making sure you have to use all your attention there. Ooh! Are uh, you sitting down now, are you? Let's go. I got her forest. Yes. The cursed zone expands into the forest? It expands everywhere. I thought evil would shun areas with so much grass and trees. It must be some curse, the way it's changed the forest. Yeah, this don't look good. Well, we have to step, take our steps cautiously. Mm. Well, I'm still gonna fight. You will not deter me. Oh, this guy! Great one! Well, you got lost your weapon, so I'm gonna take you out. Come on! Oh no, I missed him! Yeah! Now I get you, come on! Ah, oh, you... Damn it, I missed you! You will not get me... I will not miss you a third time, I say! Yeah! Die! <laughs> right. Let's scoot past you. Um, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> right. Where can we go without running into you? We're kind of stuck, aren't we? Ah, oh, damn steps. There's only one place we can go. Get some money. Hmm. I think that's for another time. Another skill. Yes, it's hot. Ooh, gosh. That looked ominous. Huh? What's a house doing in this cave? How could anyone live here with that cursed zone spreading around? Well, we'll just have to go in and find out. Oh my god, they're on fire. I need to use water or something, I assume. Right. I think we're gonna save. Okay. Ooh, 
on some mystic. Right, well, I have to use my, my general thing of slicing things. So, let's see what happens. And she probably. Oh no, it's not. Oh, I did! Bang! It worked. Now hit it. There we go. Oh, it's a voodoo witch. Looks like it. Find all the sacred beads, yeah. What's it? Ah, healing. Excellent. Bam. Oh, this looks interesting. Cool. Hey. Right, let's speak to you. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Madame Fawn. <laughs> You've come, White Wolf, and you look troubled. You may call me Madame Thorn. I read bones to see the future. I knew you would come. I saw it in my vision. Well, you have to say that, don't you? Bone reader, Madame Thorn. It looks like the world outside is in great chaos. This is not to say that it was not predestined to happen. However, this year is special. This is the hundredth year since Nagi and Shiranui's adventure. Right, so some special significance to this. You saw the enormous cursed area on your way here, did you not? Land rendered barren, all who approach tainted by darkness. Only one creature possesses the power to control this. Aruchi! Yes, I know. The big bad. Even so, the rate at which it spreads. Incredible. The curse can only be lifted by restoring the guardian suffering. Perhaps you will encounter one hidden here in Agatha Forest. That's enough idle talk for now. I'm trying to run a business here. Like I told you, I am a fortune teller. The bones reveal all. If you have the money, I can even tell you your future, Wolf. Interested? Fortune telling fee. 500 yen. No. Come back any time you need my services. Ha ha ha. Oh well, we'll do it for the hell of it, just to see what she says. Come back any time you need my... Oh, you're not doing it. I know what I have to do, same with that. Same with the Dojo Master. Right, we'll see what you have to say, just for the hell of it. Basically, if you get stuck, you ask her for help. I knew you'd come, White Wolf, you are trouble. You're not going to say the same thing again. Well then, if you have money, I'm ready. Interested? Yes, I will give you anything you want, but for a price. Uh -huh. Then let us listen to what the bones have to say, friend. Wow! It's coming to me! I can see it! In the dense and leafy forest, inside a cave sealed by a rock, a part of the wood sprite awaits to be revealed. It waits for a holy bomb to break the crack. Pretty much telling you what to do. I can't tell you any more for now. You'll have to seek out the clues yourself. Ha ha ha! You obtain Madame Bourne's prediction. Dum dum. Yeah. Right, you know, I'm staying well clear of this stuff. I just walk in and it's bad news. Alright, I thought if I walked on that, I'm then done for. Take this narrow path. Mm, dark stuff. Don't want to go too far, okay, just slip into it.
darkness of the Right, same as usual, we've got to make this tree bloom. Really do love those scenes. They're awesome. Awesome, awesome. Feast for the eyes. You obtain devout beads. I love these weapons. A new divine instrument. Guarded by the guardian sapling, eh? Wow. Fucky is gonna spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. The monsters are going to try to get you any way they can. So, you need to equip a good divine instrument and practice with it. But, remember, there's more to, there's more than simply equipping them. They can be equipped as a sub-weapon or a main weapon. A weapon's effectiveness will differ depending on how it's equipped. You can even pull off some secret techniques with your sub-weapons. Even after your 100 year nap, you remember that much, right? I know you're not too bright, but no sweat, no thinking involved. Right, you start getting to twat mode again, haven't you? You try to equip that new divine instrument as your main weapon. Yes, oh yes. So, there we go. Got the hang of it? Well, let me give you an example. You know that mirror of yours? Well, it acts as a shield when equipped as a sub-weapon. If you're under attack, press the triangle button to guard with it. You should test it out on the monsters in the area. Oh, and one more thing. You remember what Sakia said, don't you? The sacred tree in Kamiki village will bear a guardian fruit. Each time a guardian sapling is revived. Ah, oh, cool! I forgot about that. Make sure to stop by Sakiyard's tree whenever you return to Kamiki. Alright. I did forget about that. Well, let's go dig up some stuff. And now with it night time, we should be able to find more treasure. I don't stay tonight for a while. Again, think, oh, come on! Stop! You silly! Rawr. Oh, that is annoying, yeah. Oh, no. Time to do some exploring! Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's a nice flute. Who's playing it? Mysterious person. Hark! The call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Uh oh. They don't sound good. Waka! The God's gift to man is here! Bonjour! Power Master Waka! What's up with that guy? That crimson shading and divine instrument on your back. You look kinda weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby! Hey! You think you're so special way up there, huh? Get down here! 
and talk face to. Wait, did he say crimson shading? Can he see Ami's true form? And he can walk on water, and that's special. <laughs> Uh oh, he looks like he means business! <laughs> hey, he drew a sword! We, oui. this is how I get my point across. Pun <laughs> intended. <laughs> the moment the curse zone started spreading across Nippon, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword, Sukiyomi, fleeing into Kamiki village and seal the entrance with a huge rock. Hmm. You guys know anything about that? Huh. This guy gives me the creeps. Better keep your eye on him. Huh? I mean, you can all work up again? It's business time. Magnific keep. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, you shall get an earful of my beloved sword. But behold! Hello, talk! <laughs> Let's rock, baby! You said it. Ah, oh, I'm not doing too well. But I predict his movement. Oh, he's making mince me out of me. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And let's see if, how you like this. You're almost dead now. Oh, I'm not hitting you! Hit! Yeah! This boy really sliced me. It's been quite some time since I tasted your power, and Matarasu. That's enough for now. Too late now. You're the one who picked the fight. Hey, wait. You know this guy, Ami? <laughs> mm, I don't like you. Well, that was pretty tactless. Excuse moi, baby. You see, I was looking into that cursed zone that struck this area. It consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orichi, the legendary eight-headed serpent. Orichi? Do not utter that name without reason, or it will bring darkness upon you. That alone, yeah, it's like, that alone could curse the weak of mind. Oruchi was slain 100 years ago by Nagi and Shiranui and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave which I guarded. You know the cave in the middle of the lake over on Shinsu field, yeah. But some- <laughs> I mean he's got died already. But someone has gone and freed Oruchi by removing Tsukiyomi. The beast's evil has caused a cursed zone to cover these lands. I never thought the sacred sword could be so easily removed. Whoever did it waited till I was back in the capital. It seems things are afoot that even I did not prophesy. <laughs> We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse, left and right. That Aruchi's gonna, that Aruchi's gonna be mincemeat when we're through with it. <laughs> You're the ones who revived the trees in this area. But a lot of times passed since Aruchi's return. 
You better pick up the pace, ma chérie. What? I'm sorry to say, our battles just now was a big disappointment. You're not what you used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated Oruchi long ago, but one cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your 100 year slumber. That's enough! Oh, you got him mad now! Now, tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamiki. How do we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you know. Yeah, well, you can see in the future. Why didn't you stop this? I foresee a log and big frills. Wasn't well, that good? You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Isn't that prophetic? <laughs> anyway, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. Mm. Au revoir, baby. You're very dubious. What a freak, yeah. Who the heck does he think he is? Hey, wake up, Amy. We got work to do. Hey, I was all right. Now, what to do? Let's rock, baby. <laughs> Aha. You obtain Holy Bone S. Amata Rasu's favorite snack. It stores three units of solar energy. Yeah, I probably need that in a bit. Let's see what it says here in the next. Oh, I missed it. So I already did it. Six. You obtain Lacquerware set. Each piece of this Japanese Lacquerware is said to be unique. Oh, can we go up on this trait? Yeah. Always good to have a good vantage point to look from. Right, I think we need to talk to that guy unless they're frozen. I probably have to do the same thing with Shinsu Field with all those. Yeah. He's looking down in the dumps. See if we can cheer him up. Oh, poor Umi. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all alone too? I'm Kakari. Pleased to meet you. Boy of the forest, Kakari. What? This? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now. But there's a reason for that. My dog Umi and I were exploring a secret place the other day. An ancient building known as Sutra Ruins. We'd never been able to get into the ruins until we found a key deep in the forest. But when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and ha hightailed it home. I thought Umi had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. You locked your dog in the dungeon? I bet he's trapped back in those ruins. He must be crying, all scared and alone. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? Yeah. This is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, um, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and it kind of went in. I've tried my hardest to fish it back out, but I've lost all my lines and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Wah! Oh god, don't cry. I've tried my hardest to fish out the key to the ruins, but I've lost all my line and hooks. 
all I have now is this pole. Wow! Oh god. <laughs> I've tried my yeah yeah yeah. Tried my hardest to fish yet, but I've lost my line and pots. All I have now is pole. There we go, yeah. Man, this cat kid's a cry baby. Give him a good headbutt, I mean, maybe that'll straighten him out. Right, if you say so. Boom! Ouch! Now cut that out! There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins. So, you've got to do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. B -b 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 Listen here, kid. Fishing's all about attitude. ATTITUDE! There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish, babes! Or whatever. <laughs> it's all can be yours. <laughs> I knew you are going to bring it back to that, aren't you? Go ahead. Act like you're having fun. We'll watch. Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because they can see the bottom. But that's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it, a humongous fish swallowed the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows if the legend is true. But to this day, the moon never rises in Agatha Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will ya kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun! Fun! Okay, Amy. Let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. Well, just make some by drawing a line from the pole to the fish. Draw the line connecting the fishing pole to the fish to get them to bite. Once you have hooked their fish, move the left stick in the opposite direction to the fish's movement. If you pull too hard, the power gauge will move into the red area and the life gauge will begin to deplete. Keep a close eye on the fish and don't overdo it. When you've pulled the fish close, a button will appear on the screen. Press that button to yank the fish out of the water. Use a power slash to finish off your catch. Keep fishing and you might get a chance to reel in a really gigantic fish. Let's do this. Right. Oops. Work. No. Whoa! Did I actually get a bite? Careful now, kid. Don't pull with all your might. You'll just wear yourself out. Just reel it in nice and slow. Alright, let's see if I can get this. Nope. What's happening? Ah, oh, why aren't you working? Ah, oh, crap. Sorry! Ah, oh, easy come, easy go. Yeah, I messed that up. You, just when you were getting the hang of it. Gotta try again? Almost, yeah, definitely. Nope, that didn't work. Whoa, did I actually get right? Right, now be careful. Oh, damn it! I have to get used to this. X! There we go. Crab! A river crab. Whoa, did I actually get a bite? Yeah. You caught killfish. Killifish. Oh, this is a big one, yeah. Right. I'll make sure I get this one right. You caught giant salmon! 
Yeah! Wow, that's a big one. Hmm? It's dying. It choked! It had the key! Hey! No, no, that's the ruins key, yeah, I thought so. It popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish. Now I can go save Umi over at the ruins. I'm gonna go all the way in this time. No running away for me now. <laughs> hey! Give that back! <laughs> Good move, Amy. We can't have the kid getting hurt on your watch. Well, what are, you, what are we waiting for? We got a lost dog to find in the Sutra Ruins. 